we're now going to talk about the properties of real numbers. And so these are properties, these are th things that are always true. Whenever we deal with real numbers, we will see these pieces over and over and over again. Th and in all of these, we're going to assume that the numbers A, B, and C are all real numbers. So we're only talking about real numbers here. And we're going to talk about these in terms of the property, how it relates to addition, and how it relates to multiplication. So our first property is called the closure property. This says, for addition, if I take a plus b, the result is a real number as long as a and b are both real numbers. Same thing for multiplication. If I times a and b, then I'm also going to get real numbers. The commutative property says that if I have a plus b, that's the same thing as b plus a. So I can add, I can switch the order around, I can move them, they can commute from one to the other. Same thing for multiplication, a times b is the same thing as b times a. The associative property says if I have a plus b plus c, I can group the first two first, or I can group this last two first. And it doesn't matter which order I do this in. On the flip side, for multiplication, it's the same thing. It doesn't matter which order I multiply in. I can do the first two, or I can do the last two. And using both the associative and the commutative property, I can actually do the, the two on the outside before multiplying by the inside. We have what we call the identity property, and the idea behind identity is that it always gives what it is, it always returns what it's given. So for instance, for addition, if I add zero to a number, I still get a. But for multiplication, if I multiply by one, then I still get a. The inverse property, if I take a number and add it to its negative, I will get zero. So the inverse property for addition gives zero. For multiplication, if I multiply a number by one over itself, then I'll get one. So multiplication inverse gives one, addition inverse gives zero. And the last property we're going to talk about that you're going to see a lot is a distributive property. And this says if I have a times b plus c, this is equal to ab plus AC. We distribute the A through. It also works on the other side. If I have A plus B equals C, then I get AC plus BC. And so these are the properties of real numbers. And if you understand these and know how they work, it's going to help you a lot when we get into the algebra and seeing how the algebra works.